Danzig a couple years ago. But Danzig is a mystical land, and sometimes it's not entirely in this world. And so, arriving at Danzig, as the dusk began to fall, we passed through the, the troll's gentle arms around And my companion needed to, had been asked by her lord to camp up the hill near where, not too far from the old swimming pool. And so we got the camp all set up and her safely tucked in in a lovely little, little island of trees just where she belonged. And I could not find my way back down that. Strange must have happened. I'm thinking that I offended some of the big folk on my way there. Perhaps unknowingly I had stepped on one of their places or been unkind to somebody in their care. I have no idea. But I could not get turned around to go down the hill. I could not find my way. And so I said, well, one way is as good as another. There's always a way out. And I turned up the hill. Ah, and all knows that while the road to heaven is thorny and twisted, and the way to, to hell is shiny, that, thing, that green and winding road, that is the way to the land under the hills. And so up the hill I went my way, and at the top, sure, I found a turnaround. Oh, I found a turnaround. And I think I found the hob of the hill. For with each attempt to turn, I slid. And as I turned, I slid. And soon I knew not where I was, which way was up, which way was down. I could go no farther. So I left my conveyance there because there was no point in doing more damage than what I had already done. And I took to my feet. And I uh, where the story grows strange. For the fog had arisen that night. And I soon found myself surrounded by fog. And I felt a tree. And I felt a leaf. And I felt some blood. Try that again. And under my feet I found stones. Stones and blood. Try that again. And looking for the dry soon heard music and laughing voices and glimmers of light through the distant fog. And time began to seem irrelevant as I put one foot in front of the other. And there was no echo, no sound to my footsteps. But I walked on. I have known the grounds of Lake since the 14th Penzant War. How could I get lost in this place that is my home more than any other? And so I walked. And in time, I took a lightly looking turning, and there I saw flickering firelight. And I heard sweet voices. And I think of the quarters of the woods. Soft drumming. It was early in the war, and there were not yet the overwhelming defense. I think I heard a hop, and so I went towards the sound. And somehow, though I found what seemed to be the center of the music, the mist never fully cleared, nor did I come to the fire. And yet I stood and listened, and was in trouble. And there I 
was once more in ordinary time in the place once more familiar. And so he took me back to gather what I needed for the night and then to the camp where I would stay. And yet I wonder, was I indeed at Cooper's Lake? 